Hello everyone, I'm Dallin Christensen, the President and Creative Director of Whiteboard Business Partners. This is an edition of How I Make Business Happen, giving you tips and tools on how I structure my own work in order to make my business happen. And hopefully I'll be able to give you some tips that will help you go out and make your own businesses happen. I want to take you through the workflow that I use to create a blog post. Now I've become a fairly constant blogger. I try to blog once every single day during the week, Monday through Friday. So that means I need to have a steady stream of blog ideas and drafts ready so that I can get content up on my site on a regular basis. I want to take you step by step through my blog flow all the way from how I come up with an idea, how I structure it, and finally how it gets posted to my website. We're going to take a look at a blog post that will be published on the 24th of July 2012 and I'm recording this on the 19th of July. This blog idea is why you need to keep a journal. Now this is a blog post that inspired me from looking at Michael Hyatt's blog and you'll see his link in the link to this post below. I start with a template and this template came from Michael Hyatt. It came on a post that I will link to in the show notes but it helps go through the subject, the central theme, what the objective of the blog is, the rationale, and then I have some resources such as title ideas, images, links, and finally it shows the steps that I need to take in order to evaluate the post. This is a template that, as I mentioned, Michael Hyatt provided in a blog post that I'll link to within the show notes. So I start with the subject of the blog. Then I determine what is the central theme? What do I want my readers to take away from this particular blog? I turn that theme into an objective statement. Within this template, there are two separate types of objective statements. There are persuasive statements and there are also enabling statements. For this post, I decided to turn this into a persuasive post. So every person should write in a daily journal because of the following four reasons. I have my four points, which you will see a little bit later on become the subheadings in my blog. I had three title ideas. I decided to use the title Why You Need to Keep a Journal, but I also had two other ideas that I decided not to use. There is an image that I want to use. Now notice in most of my blogs, if you read my blogs, I do have a photo on all of my blog posts. I feel it's more visually appealing, it draws people in. It might even give them an idea of what the blog post is going to be about. Finally, I have a number of different links that I may use. Now notice I don't use all of these links as we get into the blog post, but I do have ideas for blog posts that I can use during the course of my research and writing. Once all of this is done, then I start writing. And I use a tool called ByWord. ByWord is a very inexpensive app which is available on the Mac App Store as well as on the iPad and the iPhone. I like using ByWord for two reasons. Number one, it's extremely simple. Instead of all of the bells and whistles that you would see in a tool like Apple Pages or Microsoft Word, ByWord is very simple. It's very clean. It allows you to focus on your writing as opposed to all of the formatting options, colors, and other things like that that go with Pages or Word, which are really starting to become more desktop publishing tools. This is the blog post that I wrote, wrote. Now, one of the great things about ByWord is it has a feature called Markdown. Now, Markdown is a tool that allows you to preview the HTML code that your writing will ultimately use if it's on a blog site. So in this case, I'm going to click exit, Escape, and you'll see that within this writing, it looks very, very simple. There are a few links, and I'll show you how that looks when you get into HTML code in a few minutes, but this is how I write. Normally I do write on my laptop and not on my iMac because I'm able to go to full screen mode more easily. But if I go up into ByWord and click Preview Markdown, you'll see that this looks very much like a blog post. You see the links in blue, you see the bolding, you see the numerical headings. This is how a post would look once you put it into a site like WordPress or Squarespace. In this case, I'm happy with the blog post. I'm going to click on Copy HTML, and then I'm going to go into 
a tool called Mars Edit. Now the great thing about Mars Edit is that I am able to <coughs> edit offline if I want to. Using a tool like WordPress Calendar, which I'll show you in a few minutes, I'm only able to update within the editorial calendar if I'm connected to the internet. Now, I do a fair amount of traveling, so that means I want to have an opportunity to edit offline should the need arise. And Mars Edit does that, and I'll have a link to the show in the show notes to this particular software tool. So the great thing about this tool is I'm able to upload images, I have my title, I'm able to actually import my sub my categories. Now in this case, I'm going to change this from an uncategorized tab to a making business happen tab. I also need to include my tags. So I'm going to include tags such as small business, productivity, byword, Mars edit, The tags obviously are important, so as people are searching for keywords, I'm hoping that this particular blog post will come up more regularly so people can see my workflow and also get an idea of some of the tools that I use. You'll notice that all of the writing is in HTML code. Here's the strong heading for bold. You see several of the links. You even see a link to the picture that I'm going to use within this particular post. So once I'm happy with this post, I'm going to click send to blog. By sending this post to the blog in draft form with open comments and being able to accept trackbacks, this will then move this post into my blog and we'll do that right now. So now we're posted in the edited message to my whiteboard business blog, the Making Business Happen blog. Now we're going to go into Chrome, which is my browsing software of choice, and we're going to see that with this particular post, we will, <clears throat> excuse me, you see this is the How I Make Business Happen, my new blogging workflow, it's in draft form, I'm going to click on edit. And now you can see that the tool has already provided me with the HTML code. So if I click on the visual to see how this is actually going to look, you'll see that the blog post is already set up in all of its HTML codes. And now I do have a couple of edit items that I will include. Of course, now remember, I'm not going to post this until the 24th of July. So I still have a couple of things that I, I want to include. And I want to upload my photo. So now, by uploading my photo, I've already put this photo into WordPress. So all I need to do is insert the photo using the Add Media. So I'm actually going to look at the Media Library. I'm going to show the photo that I want to use. It's a medium photo. I'm going to center it, and I'm going to insert it into the post. Now I always like to put a preview of my post on my site. So I have the post in WordPress now. I do have one more photo that I need to edit, but remember that this is a post that's not going to become live until the 24th of July, so I'm going to save draft. And that's how I go from idea to completion within my blogging workflow. This is a way for me to be very flexible. I can work online or offline, and it gives me an opportunity to edit blog posts, come up with ideas through Evernote in a number of different formats, such as my iPad, my iPhone, and I get the opportunity as ideas come to me to be able to put them down on paper, creating a good system that allows me to stay on top of my blogging and have the opportunity to edit posts as opposed to just posting a stream of consciousness and not having time to edit when posting comes due. I hope you enjoyed this look at my blogging workflow. This is another example of how I make business happen. I'm Dallin Christensen for Whiteboard Business Partners.